So I was afraid that I was gonna pass out right there standing up with the needle inside of me. It is day two of medicine. So far I've taken two Menipure and one Gonal F. Just wanted to kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling so far. Yesterday I had a headache. That was pretty much the only thing that was going on. Today, however, I woke up still with a headache. Got kind of a stuffy nose going on now. When Giselle gave me the injection this morning of the Menipure, it didn't hurt going in like it did last time, but when she put the medicine in, it really hurt. As the medicine was going in, I started to feel really nauseous. I thought I was going to get sick on her. When the needle was just sitting there so she could grab the gauze and put it on, I started to feel like lightheaded and dizzy. And I'm just like, Giselle, can you hurry up because I don't feel good. I was kind of swaying just a little bit. Probably not that much, but that's just how I felt. So I was afraid that I was going to pass out right there standing up with the needle inside of me. So I said, hey, um, get it out. <laughs> Tonight I'll take another Gonal F and another Dexamethasone. Tomorrow's the blood test, so we'll find out what the dosages is. I'll just keep you guys updated of how I'm feeling, seeing how it goes. Hey everyone, we're getting ready to go to bed, but we wanted to make sure we stopped by and gave you guys an update on how the appointment went on the 26th. It was just a blood test, yeah. right? We went in, 7.30 in the morning, and they took her blood, mid 12, like somewhere between 10 and 12, I don't know exactly. Yeah. They called back and said that uh, she's good to keep taking the same amount of medication, same dosage. Mm -hmm. So still the 300 for the Gaunt Gaunt F, F and 150 for the Menopure. And that pill, what was the pill? The Dexamethasone. Yeah, the Dexamethasone. Should Can't. call it D. No, like the D. <laughs> so, the um, so that's what she's been taking. Any symptoms, Amber? Tenderness, like there's a feeling. It's not really a pain, but it's like a little discomfort in my ovary area. Um, and if I lay on my side t for too long, like it just really bothers me, so I can't do that. So um, I'm assuming that means they're growing. I'm hoping. Yeah. We'll find out on uh, their next appointment because they're gonna do a blood test and an ultrasound so we can see exactly how many follicles have grown and are continuing continually growing yeah so that's gonna be tomorrow and we'll let you guys know how that one goes and hopefully her follicles are growing and being good yeah we'll let you know we'll update you for the appointment that is on the first of March but yeah that's about it we'll see you guys later tomorrow bye bye something I forgot to add yesterday was I was feeling muscle pains, like my legs were really sore all day. Um, not sure why, but that got better today. Today is day three. I've taken Menopure three times, and I've taken the Gonal F and the Dexamethasone twice. I'm gonna take the Gonal F and the Dexamethasone here in about 30 minutes, actually. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update again on day three. Today I'm feeling a whole lot better. I don't really have any symptoms. I had a headache this morning, but that could just have to do with I didn't get that much sleep. I was at the hospital last night for the sick kid. Today, I've been perfectly fine. Just still got the stuffy nose. It's not that stuffy anymore. I've just been sneezing a little bit. But besides that, today is great. I feel great. I had a wonderful appetite. I've been up and about and doing things. So yeah, go for day three. Good morning, everybody. We are headed to the blood test equipment and the scan equipment. But this time, um, the scan, they're gonna be checking for how the medicine is affecting her and how her follicles are growing and how many are growing to see if they need to up medication or just keep it the same. Um, so we're headed that way. Amber is driving. So let's see if we hit the same thing. Just kidding. We'll let you guys know how it goes. And hopefully uh, she has lots of eggs growing. Um, I don't think they expect them to be too big right now because she just started. But hopefully she has a good number. So let's hope and let's pray and we'll see you guys when we get out give you guys an update. If it's noisy out here, you, hopefully you can hear my voice. Um, we're on the highway, so you 
might be, a, I don't know if you're gonna hear my voice or the highway sounds, because it sounds pretty loud. But yeah, see you guys there. Hey, big. We've been home for a while now and uh, we're gonna do the update uh, for you guys on what happened at the clinic. Amber is here chilling. Hey, this is me. She's very interested in the TV. She's playing her game. So yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get ready and then let you guys know the up, uh, update. We went to her appointment and she had her scan, which vaginal, vaginal ultrasound. ultrasound. Um, and they were checking her left and right ovaries. And she had, I'll let her tell you since it's her ovaries. <laughs> so on the right side, I had five follicles. And on the left side, I had 10. Even though I had a total of 15, the nurse did tell us that some of them might not make it all the way to the egg retrieval. So the smallest one was a nine and the biggest one was a 16. She did um, tell us that we're gonna come back in on Monday to see how much they are growing, how much more, which ones are kind of like slowed down, which ones are gonna progress. We'll get a better idea of how many we're gonna have for the retrieval. Mm -hmm. um, but 15 is still a pretty good number. They usually expect to get around 12. So I oh, said that to you? They said that at the very first ultrasound. Oh, that's so cool. So we're doing good. Yeah. Yay! Um, it's the medications too. Um, after they did the blood work, they looked at um, how her levels and stuff and hormones are going, and they said to keep everything the same, so she's still gonna have the same dose of uh, Menipure and the 300 for um, the gonal. gonal F. Plus tonight, she gets to add, aside from her Gonal F at the same time, she gets to add Centratide, and we'll show you guys how that goes, because we don't know how that's gonna go. And that's just like, the shot is already made for you. It's not like the Menipure where I have to mix the... No, you just have to mix it. I do have to mix yeah, it? Yeah, the only difference is the liquid is already in the syringe, oh, so then okay. you put it into the powder. And then take it out. Then, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like it's kind of like the med up here, but not to not, not to, to where I have to do grab anything. grab the liquid and then mix two different uh, powders. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And we'll show you guys how that goes. Any symptoms, Amber? I've been bloaty, and I don't know if it says TMI, but I've been gassy. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, they also told her uh, to go to the pharmacy anywhere it's like over-the-counter stuff and to get stool softener because of all the medication she might get constipated yeah i think there so, it was marillac and colate we're gonna get those and that way you can start taking those so that's gonna be another thing that she's gonna be taking and I, they told me to start drinking powerade gatorade or pedialyte mm -hmm. but no water i'm probably gonna drink coconut water because <laughs> it has to have like electrolytes and coconut water has that but we're probably gonna either do a Pedialyte and coconut water. That way you're not always just drinking coconut water because she doesn't like coconut water, but we'll yeah. see. I don't have to start doing that until I think Monday. So that gives us a little bit of time. Uh, other symptoms, not, not really feeling much. Besides the last time I checked in, a little tenderness. It does make sense that I have more uh, follicles on the left side because that's where I've been feeling it mostly. Uh, one little thing that the nurse told us, she told us just because I think she has to, but she's saying that it shouldn't be no issue, but They've always had pr like trouble a little bit getting to the left ovary, like when they do the scans. They always get to it like to scan it and see everything. But she says because it's so like far up or far back that they might have, there might be a, a problem getting uh, the needle like when they do the retrieval to it. But she she just uh, told us that. But she thinks that it might not be a problem at all. It might take a little longer, but it probably isn't going to be a problem. So let's hope that that's not gonna be an issue because that's where she has the 10 eggs and we need the 10. Yeah, we need, we need as much as we can. So I hope that that doesn't affect anything when we do the retrieval. Yeah. So we're just gonna have to pray that there's no issues. Um, she says that there might not be, but she just, you know, nurses just, if, if they see something a little, you know, off, even if it's by a little bit, I feel like they have to tell us, you know, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, just in case, like, maybe they can't reach all of them on the left side, that way we're not completely disappointed, like, we couldn't get to all of them, 
but we told you ahead of time that it might be difficult, so. Yeah, I think on the left side there was a 16, which she said was really good, but Monday's coming up pretty soon and that's when we're gonna come back, go back, um, and they're gonna do another scan and another blood test. Yeah, and we'll probably find out on Monday when exactly the egg retrieval is. Um, they only told us like a estimate, like it's gonna be next week sometime. We knew that we were gonna go in there on Monday and Tuesday for scans, but they'll tell us like exactly what day the, the retrieval will be and then we'll let you guys know. And I'm gonna try to see if I can record as much as I can on the retrieval day, because it's really important for us. Prenatals, Manipure, Gonolef, Centratide, Dexamethasone, Dexamethasone, and Stool, stool softeners. softeners. That's the five things she's taking right now. So. That's six. Six, <laughs> sorry. Okay, but yeah. So, uh, if you guys like this video, I feel like it was all over the place, but I think it'll make sense when I edit it. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new because we're going to let you guys know all the details and all the experiences we have through IVF. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram also. You'll see a little snippets before they get put on YouTube. Yeah. We do post a lot of stuff on there. So, if you guys want to get connected with us, go on Instagram. All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.